Welcome back. In today's workplace, managers know they must achieve more at a faster pace. But what can leaders do to get their organizations performing at a higher level and execute large-scale changes more quickly? I'll put that question to Ron Oshkinas, managing partner at Robert Schaefer & Associates and co-author of the new book called Rapid Results. Rapid Results is a strategy for managers who really need to get some major change in their organization. Productivity improvement, growth, quality improvement, new products, new markets. But they realize that most of those big changes take a long time and the risk of not getting results is pretty high. But you say that some of these things can be done in 100 days. That's right. Well, that rapid results is the strategy for how to do that, mm -hmm. which is instead of trying to do the whole analysis and preparation of the big program and then wait until six months or a year or two years, the system is all ready and then flip the switch, it's rapid results is a way of getting 100-day projects going very quickly so that you can get results as you go and develop the capacity for change. How do you begin? Where do you, where do you begin? What do you need to identify as necessary to actually launch something like this? Well, in order to understand that, in order to answer that question, you really have to understand why rapid results is important. Mm -hmm. um, most big changes, even though they're well-designed and well-intentioned, they can only touch a few people at the top in terms of real change. Mm -hmm. But most changes take thousands and thousands of people who have to change the day-to-day -day work procedures that they do. And they don't have the skill and capacity to do that. So rapid results gives them a way to practice doing that. Mm -hmm. So the way to get started is to think about the, the major change you have in mind, break it down and try to do a microcosm of it in one place, one time. Mm -hmm. and then Start small so you can go big, in other words. Start small so you can go big, but not necessarily stay small. You can scale this up very rapidly. For example, at Avery Dennison's, uh, an adhesive materials company, their real challenge was to grow, and they'd talked about growth for a number of years, but just hadn't really accelerated the pace enough. Starting with a few pilot projects in one division, they brought together cross-functional teams of people, marketing, manufacturing, engineering, technology, finance, and gave them 100 days to figure out a way to take either one product or one technology and generate some growth results from it, some real bottom line Productivity. And how do they accomplish that? What, what, what kind of product were we talking about that they were able to get this done so quickly? Well, they could take a technology like an adhesive, work with a, work with a customer, and learn how to modify it in a way that the customer could use it for other applications. So in doing that, these people learned how to take a major change and do it in a microcosm very quickly. Now, what Avery Dennison then did is spread that across the whole company. Within a year, they had 500 such projects going and had generated a couple hundred million dollars of additional growth revenue. Mm -hmm. But the most important thing they had done is really created the capacity at the grassroots level to be able to manage these kinds of changes, because that's where a lot of change founders is that the people at the grassroots level just can't comprehend exactly what they need to do to change their day-to-day -day work. How does doing this in 100 days differ than, from just uh, simply making people work that much harder and double time in order to get something done? Uh, how is it a, a smarter approach than simply working people to the bone in order to get a deadline passed? Well, it's certainly not a matter of working harder. It's, uh, w when we find that most people, when given the challenge, it's like in any crisis, people step up and really want to do something. Here we take the lessons of a crisis without creating a crisis. We give them a challenge in 100 days to be really accountable to produce a result. And that is tremendously exciting for most people. Ron Ashkenaz, managing partner of Robert Schaefer & Associates, co-author of the new book, Rapid Results. That's going to do it for this edition of Bloomberg Small Business. I'm Lane Bajardi. Next on Personal Finance, following the guilty pleas offered this week by managers of the Bayou Group,